just got in from work and by that I mean got home changed did my face so i don't look like a sweaty fart if you didn't already know i'm a student in ba combined honors i major in media and i'm minor in english literature and i study at newcastle university just going into my final year now it's that time of year again where freshers are starting uni and they're basically well like i, I was shitting me sen this video is going to go over 10 tips for freshers because when you're at uni it's too easy to kind of uh, pretend to be something you're not basically um, to try and fit in. It's so normal to like feel proper nervous for uni like don't worry if you're shitting your sin but this is just to give yourself a little bit of a leeway into the uni experience. It's not specifically just for people in England, it's not specifically just for people at Newcastle Uni or are coming at Newcastle Uni but it's just like a, just a general help. Number one, make your room your home. When you move to uni people usually live in halls of residence for their first year. One of the issues I had was that I felt like when I moved to uni, I felt like I was in between homes because I missed home so much, but then I was living in Newcastle. So what I did to help me out was I did up my room and made it so, so cosy. Fairy lights, they'll make it cosy and warm and nice and snuggly. Posters, pictures of your family and your friends on the wall. Surround yourself with positivity, like that's so important, and then you will feel more like you're at home. Two, during Freshers Week, make sure you go to the Society's Fair and go to as much preliminary society events as you can. That's one of your, it's not your only chance to make pals, but it's a good way to make pals, especially pals who are like-minded. Two people I live with now I met at the LGBT Society. You're making friends for life basically, so make sure you put yourself out there. Number three, sit next to strangers in lectures. Now I wouldn't normally encourage people, to sit next to strangers, because that's a bit weird, isn't it? There are three things you can ask people when you're sitting next to them. What's your name? What did you study for your A-levels? Slash, what do you study at uni now? What halls of residence are you in? Or where are you living at the moment? They're like really good introductory questions to ask, and then you can get into the deeper shit like political parties and sexual positions. <laughs> yeah, baby. Four, if you are unhappy with what you're studying or where you are living, do something about it. I also moved halls. There was like a month left of university but I was like, you know what, I can't stand living here. I'm really glad I did it and I think that if I hadn't have done it, my grades would have been affected. And at the end of the day, you're there to get a degree, do you know what I mean? Number five, get to know your students' union. They're there for you. Our students' union, there's loads of things there, loads of facilities. There's a bar, there's a shop, there's a student advice centre. Make sure you know who you can contact when you're in a shitty position, when you're feeling down, when you're struggling, when you're worrying. Also at most universities, especially in the UK that, that I know of, there are full-time student officers and there are also part-time officers like what I am. Their job is to look after you. If you're unhappy, you need to say something, but you don't want to suffer in silence because it will affect every aspect of your life. So make sure you get to know your students' union well because they're there for you, it's their job. Number six, y'all, spend a day getting to know the city that you've moved to. So if you've moved to Leeds, Newcastle, Bristol, whatever, go to the local market and see where it's cheapest to buy food, fruit and vegetables and stuff like that, tinned goods. Try and find a nice cafe or a tea room or something that you can go to. Go on your own, you can go with your pals, just somewhere relaxing where you can take a break for everything. Yeah, get to know it and then you'll feel a lot more comfortable. It might start to feel a little bit more like home as well. Number seven, in Freshers Week, do as much as you can, but do not feel like you're missing out if you decide not to go out. At universities in the UK and the US and in Europe and everything, there's a massive pressure on young people to basically get pissed drunk. Don't be pressured to get drunk. Props to the people who want to get pissed every night. It's up to them, it's their prerogative, do you know what I mean? But don't be pressured by people around you to go out and piss. In Freshers Weeks, there are always alternative nights out for people who don't drink. When I had my Freshers Week, I went out and did something every evening apart from one evening when I stayed in and that gave me the time to sort of sort through all my introductory lectures that I'd been to, write some stuff in my diary, watch something on Netflix, treat myself to a takeaway. You're 18, you moved out of your home, it's your choice. Number eight, budget, 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 budget your money. Below, I've put in a link to a budget sheet that I've made. You basically need to just keep track. Another tip is if you go out, don't take your card out, just take cash. Keep an eye on it, keep an eye on it. Number nine, this is kind of following on from another one. Um, have days to yourself. You really, really need to look after yourself at uni. It's a massive change for people because you're moving from college. It took me so long to realise that I needed to look after myself rather than force myself to go out every night because I was scared that I I wouldn't make friends. And number 10, get a diary. I've got an app on my phone, I'll show you it, I'm on. 
do -ba -ba -doo. Where the fuck? Oh, there it is. Right, it's called CAL, C-A-L. You can sync your uni timetable to it. If you've got a deadline, you can add your deadline to it. It helped me personally so much. It's just always good to be organised. So that was my 10 tips for freshers. Thank you for watching. If you weren't a fresher, this probably wasn't very beneficial to you. Um, but I'm going to be doing another video soon. I'm going to be doing a Tinder nightmare story. Ooh, I'm talking about my dating life. What the fuck? Make sure you subscribe. I've recently hit 1,000 subscribers, which is fucking insane. Only took eight years. I'm going to go and have a brew because I've been at work all day and I'm shattered. But yeah, thank you for watching. See you later, alligator.